possible? Why can't we say we don't fully understand these things? Why yeah, with all due respect, I think you, you're not following our intellectual reasoning here. No, no, I am, because I think what you're well, trying to... So, I'd like to hear what Simon has to say. So, when the, father, the, when, when the father, when the father, when the father is called God in the Nicene Creed, the father is God, the son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. Yeah. When you say the father is God, do you really mean he's God, God, or do you mean he's some, somehow part the God? Or do you mean he's fully God? He's God, yeah. The Bible says he's, he's fully God. Yeah. Fully God. 100%. Yeah, 100% so. means God means he is God by himself, right? Or does he need to be made God by someone else? He doesn't need to be made God. Right. So for his own existence, does it need someone else to give him life? The Father. No, no. The Father has life in himself. At, Correct. At, I would accept God, anyone to be called God, he has to be self-sufficient for his own existence. Uh, the Son. The son. The son does have life in himself, doesn't he? Who gave life to the son? The father gave authority for the son to have life in himself. So he's dependent on the father. So he's not self-sufficient. That's why... Well, he's one with the father. That's why the son, if you really reason intellectually, the son and the Holy Spirit, who proceeds or spirates from the father or the son, or both, they cannot be God. This is a philosophical refutation of the Trinity belief that God is tripersonal. Because the Father is the only being, according to Jesus, God, the only true God. Did you know that? If I asked you, according to you, is God tripersonal or unipersonal? According to you? God is three persons. Three persons, good. According to Jesus Christ, as reported in the Gospels and the New Testament, how many persons is God? I think God is three persons. No, according to, to Christ. Jesus. Christ. So, yeah, I think he is three persons according to Jesus. It's not about what you think. What do you know? What Christ has said? But that, that is what I think I know. Okay, let me I tell you what, tell you what, let me tell you what Christ I'm said. Yeah. I can tell you what Christ has said in the New Testament. In John, do you have the Bible? You've got it yeah. there. Yeah, let's, let's show it to you. Yeah. I want to see what you, what you understand by it. Yeah? yeah? Because it's very, very important. It's just the New Testament. So yeah, that's it. I, I need the New Testament. the pair of you now. I can stop the pair of Here. The way I think Do you want to read chapter 17 onwards? Just read uh, five verses to sure. give you the context. Although, what, what I would say is, I think I think we're talking um, we're talking abstractly and saying like, oh, you know, this doesn't make sense. At but last, at last, hmm? he, he believes my rock fighter. We are using but, reason. But yeah. So, so what the I the same say reason you're not going to worship a camera? Does the Bible say don't worship the camera? What I would say is... Simeon, can you answer the question for me before you explain? Don't worship Does the, anything except for God, yeah. So the Bible doesn't yeah. say worship the camera. You would say the camera is other than the qualities of God. Why, why would you... Okay. Why would you not worship the camera? So, can I, do you mind if I go back to my point? Go just ahead. before we go on that one. Sure, sure. Um, so, I think we can talk abstractly and say, you know, we just don't understand the Trinity in the sense of, like, he's... We he, do understand it. Um, it's incoherent. But what what I think what I think that Jesus does is that he step he doesn't just step into into nothingness. Hiya. Hello. Um, he doesn't just step Hi. into into a, a void. Yeah. Praise God. He, he doesn't just say praise the God of Jesus. He doesn't just say I am God. Hmm? He doesn't just turn up and say I am God and um, and that's just that's just it. I think what he does is he shows us he shows us through his actions through his words that he is he is the god of the old testament that he is, is he? he is the i am that he is the messiah god of the old testament he's got many names. so could jesus say Be before me there was no god form after me there's no god form i alone am god and there's none else can jesus say that so if jesus said that imagine jesus said that before me there is no god form now, in Trinity, there is I, 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 and that makes us, we. So if Jesus himself says, I alone am God, then there's none else, it excludes the Father and the Holy Spirit. Do you follow so far? But I don't think it, I just don't think it does. Do you follow so far? I think I follow your logic, but I don't think it... Do you use logic? Is that illogical or logical? But God, is, God is beyond logic, I think. Thank you so much. What did God, why did God give logic to you and me? If it's beyond logic. 
Why did God give logic? So God gave you logic to find the best, the, the bicycle helmet? Or did God give you logic to know who God is and who God isn't? Well, yeah, that is part of it. Yeah. Right. So, so if you have a concept, I want to give you this example and then you can say it, right? If somebody says, if, if somebody says, God is a father. Okay, you we're, both, we're both looking for truth. No, yeah. no, no. Simeon, if somebody said, God is a father, mother, I'll son, brother, but you won't let me do it. and they're not four gods, they're one God, what would you say? Yeah, so I think I understand the logic. You're, but what would you say? I'd that, say, that, say it doesn't make sense. Why does it make sense? Because it's either four or it's one. Why does but, it make sense? Because it's either four or it's one. But, but in your trinity, why does it make sense? So, I, I don't think it makes logic, I don't think, I think God is beyond my logic. That's Trinity, of concept Trinity. of Trinitarian Godhead makes sense. But I think in terms of the Bible, it really does. I just think okay. it's that's why I says. asked you, in fact, the Bible doesn't say God is a Trinity or Trinitarian. What does Jesus say who the God is? How many persons according to Christ is God? I think you, I think you could... Well, let's you, let's you read it again, that, let's well, read it. That's why well, I wanted to read well, John. Okay. From well, chapter 17. Well, hmm. He says, I tell you what, this is I, eternal life. No, I want, yeah. I want you to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so on. that it, it stays with you. Yeah, go on. This and, is eternal life. Hmm. That they may know you are the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. He's been so, for the so, so, okay. Simeon, okay. Simeon, you, you, both listen, you, both go, argue back, don't worry, you don't go argue back. You go argue back. Simeon, if Jesus Christ says, you, the Father, are the only true God, the Father is how many persons? One or two or three? Question his faith. One person. One person. So according to faith. Jesus, like the that. Father no, 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 is interrupting no, no. you to even listen. According to Jesus Christ, the Father who is one person is the only true God. According to you, God is three persons. Do you agree with Christ or do you disagree with him? I think I agree with Christ. But so do you agree God think, is one person? I don't, think I don't think your position of what Christ is saying is right. What is he saying? Uh, because I think Jesus comes and says, I am the Messiah. No, no, talk about this, this verse, where he, when he talks about God. Mm. Well, every time Jesus talks about, every John 17. John 17. Yeah. Verse 3 is the crucial verse, but start from 1 and carry on as much as you want. Yeah. So every time Jesus speaks about God, these are the passages that we need to take on board to understand who God is according to Jesus. Yeah. So you would not find Jesus anywhere else explaining that he is part of Godhead. Okay. He's saying... I think you do, but... Um, when he says, I'm going to my God and your God, what is he saying? So i tell you what I'll do is why don't I I'll look at John 17 properly and then the next let's, time I'm back here we should... We should yeah, chat. yeah, that's fine. But let's read it now. I want to hear your opinion when you read your own scripture. John 17, chapter 17, verse 1 to 5 and verse 3 is the crucial verse. And I want you, you to really reflect and say, if Jesus is saying the Father is the only true God, why did the church tell you to believe otherwise and reject Christ, what he says plainly? John 17. Okay, so should I read from verse 1? Yeah. Okay. When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all flesh to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life. That's verse 3. That, you, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Yeah, so mm. people should know that the only true God is who? You, the Father. Yeah, so I think it's, so, I think so, it's easy to, to take verses out of context. No, no, not verses either, out of context. No, look, this is not what was out of context. Mm. Take the whole Bible. Jesus Christ says, O our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done. Thy kingdom come. That's who right. Who is he saying whose kingdom come? Whose will be done? God, the Father. The Father. Yeah. So according to Jesus, whose will be done? But, the Father. According to Jesus, Jesus who should Jesus you serve? Jesus comes in, in at the start of Mark, he says, the, the kingdom is here. Repent and believe. Why is the kingdom here? Because the king has arrived. God's, God's Messiah. Who's he? Who's God's be? Messiah is not God. But who will be on God the... sends a Messiah who is an anointed one so that people can worship God through the teaching of the Messiah. Yeah. So yeah. why do you take Jesus as God when Jesus said himself, you shall worship him only, thou shall you serve, no one else. And because, he says... Because the Messiah in the, in the Old Testament is, is God's, God's son. God's, God's Do you know how many sons God have? And what does the word son mean? Yeah, son, son just means God's king. God's, God's right. Son. So according yeah. to New Testament, Adam is called the son of God. Do you worship him? 
Is he part of the Trinity? So, I, I, think, that, you don't. I think that's a, mis, um, a slight misreading. No, Jesus the, isn't... Jesus isn't isn't king in the same way all of those all of those mini kings are leading up to the king jesus so is still the servant you, yeah, have you heard of isaiah suffering servant, servant. Isaiah do you know the difference between king and servant they're not the same god is the king and jesus is the servant so who should you worship the servant or the king well but god also says I, I won't i won't share my glory with anyone else and and yet jesus is the one that is that is glorified with the father he gives the glory to his disciples. They all have the same glory. I don't think Just they have verse the glory five. in the same sense. Same sense. Read they verse have, 5. You stop at verse 3. Read verse 5 onwards. Yeah. He gives the same glory that he has. God but, gave him. But, no, it's important to understand that because it will clarify your concept about glory. True. When although, Jesus says... Clearly you've had this conversation before around... But clearly right? I have explained to the Christians so to, and I would like you to reflect on it yeah. as well. Because I am not cherry picking. I'm giving you the context. Verse 5. So, I glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. So this is not, it's not, the, it's not giving the disciples glory, it's yes, giving he is, Jesus he is, glory. I'd really like to help you here, you know, in this <laughs> argument you're yeah, having. That's really I kind. would really like to help you, because you see... This is well, why. This see, is we're both why, looking for truth, no, no, aren't we? Okay, we're all looking for truth. It's all good. Okay. We're looking at the Bible. And let me tell you the way I see it. Like I said to you earlier on about evolution. It's getting cold, though. I said to you about evolution. Now, I know through my sister who's got a degree in biology that over the last hundred years, over the last hundred years, Okay. Genetics. I'll just, oh, maybe, maybe I'll just listen. Okay. I'll no, tell you no, what. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. I want to show you. Well, we listen to this gentleman. I'm, I'm no, Christian. Yeah, and, I, I really and I will, appreciate your time. That's fine. I want to show you because you've, you've raised this question. So I, I will, I I will, I will I tell want... you about where the glory is given to the disciples. So you no. can read it exactly. Yeah, thanks. And uh, Monsieur, I really appreciate the, the chat. I think I, just, I don't feel confident enough about John 17 to to talk on camera about it. So I think it's so in John 17, 22, if I'm not mistaken. Where's the Bible gone? It's so it's quick here. to put it back. No, you know? see, see, that's because because I don't feel confident enough to discuss John 17. No problem, this will be last, the last discussion on, on, on the Bible. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to see whether this verse is indeed there in, in the Bible. Um, I just don't want to say something wrong. Anyway, no, 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 I, I, I really appreciate that. Okay. okay. Don't, mind, don't, don't I'm, say I'm, things which you don't I'm know. I'm going to chat to you. Right? Okay. Yeah. The now, glory no, no, that I'm, you have I'm, given I'm, I'm me. One second, sorry. Let's just read the Bible. Thank you. Verse 22. The glory that you have given me. So he's talking yeah. about the glory that he has. I have given to them that they may be one even as we are one. So yeah. not only they have the same glory, they're also one. That's Read the Quran, my friend. Yeah. It will really tell you who you need to worship. No. Not, not the confusion that the Bible is giving you, but the clarity clarity of the message of God in the Quran that worship none but God alone. Okay. Thanks. I'll look okay. back at John 17 because it's no. obvious you've had that conversation okay. before. Yeah. Okay. You take care, my friend. Really good to meet you, Monsieur. You, you take care. Speak, okay. Do you mind if I speak now? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and speak. But he has to go though, that's why. Because I'm talking to you, as I said to you before we came in here, we were talking about evolution. Mm -hmm. And evolution has probably been proved by, gen by genetics over the last hundred years to be the way we've come here. Now, some people believe that the Bible is the Word of God and it's just totally irrefutable. Mm. Some Do you people, believe that the Bible no, is the Word of God? No, hold let me finish. The Bible contains a lot of truths. Let me finish. And a lot of falsehood as well. And that's why the Quran comes as a quality control to tell you what the errors and falsehood that, that has been introduced into the old okay. scriptures of God. Okay, okay. So, okay, listen to me. I want you to listen to me because I think you're nice now. <laughs> I don't want you to listen He wants to talk to you about evolution. Yeah. Okay. How much do you know about evolution? At what level? Have you studied it, Bailu? My, my sister's got a degree. No, no, you, you. No. Have you? How can we have a meaningful conversation if you don't know no, much no, about this subject matter? No, no, I'm not. Go ahead, go ahead. Take care. Take care.